On the surface, Minecraft is already a spectacular game filled with fun adventures and quests. Dig a little deeper and you can find secrets, hacks, and glitches the game developers don't want you to know about. Once you learn them, you can use them for all your future Minecraft gaming sessions. Before you watch, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell to become part of the notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Builder Bots One of the most painstaking things to do in Minecraft is to build. It can take hours to create a whole world or village you can call your own. This is the whole point of the game though, and one of the main goals developers included when creating Minecraft. If you want to speed up this process and fill your world with creations, then you can install a Builder Bot. Builder Bots are basically non-playable characters who will travel around your world creating all types of structures. You can choose to have them create random structures or focus on something more specific like buildings and walls. By leaving the game running, you can return hours later to see all of the amazing creations they've made. It can really help speed up the creation of your world, give you more things to explore, and surprise you with some of your creations. Another great feature for the Builder Bot includes the ability to copy and paste creations. For example, if you've built a cabin, a Builder Bot can replicate it on another part of your world. Also, when using the Builder Bot, you can use more than one bot in your game if you need to. The X-Ray Glitch In Minecraft, everywhere you explore is a complete mystery. There are deep caves, dungeons, and tunnels to explore. Going down into these deep areas allows you to mine rare items, but it also puts you in the crosshairs of enemies like zombies and creepers. If you're looking to avoid these dangers and eliminate some of the mystery, then you can activate a common error known as the X-Ray Glitch. Game developers have worked hard in removing the glitch through the years, but players still find ways to access it. The X-Ray Glitch gives you a complete view of the world, and we're not just talking about the surface level. With the glitch, you can see where every single tunnel, cave, and dungeon is located. That's extremely beneficial as you start searching for rare items. By moving to different sections of a map, you can reveal additional areas to explore. Once you find a deep area, you can use TNT to blow up the place and access the caves more quickly. When playing in survival mode, the X-Ray glitch is an easy way to avoid death and build up your supplies a lot more quickly. The X-Ray glitch works in both PC and Pocket editions of the game. Mob Fishing Players are equipped with all types of tools to survive in Minecraft. This includes an axe, sword, and even a torch for exploring dark and mysterious areas. One of the more basic tools players are given in the game is a fishing pole. Fishing poles can be used in a boat, but players have also found out ways to use the poles for other methods in the game. While exploiting the use of a fishing pole, players have discovered a mini-game known as mob fishing. In this game, the fishing pole is used to attach to other mobs who aren't water creatures. This allows you to pick up cows, chickens, and pigs with the poles. When the poles aren't strong enough to hold the mob, Mobs, they'll detach and fall to their death. The fishing pole is basically like a temporary version of a leash. The next time you stand on a large ledge or cliff, you can fish off the edge and see what types of land mobs you can catch. This secret is available in most versions of the game and the concept hasn't been removed by game developers. Players have also created a number of custom maps which feature games with the mob fishing pole. Playing previous versions When a game goes through major changes, there are usually developed and released as a sequel. This isn't the case for Minecraft. Minecraft creators have stuck with the original game and provided updates for players directly through the game rather than an add-on package or separate purchase. This has allowed players to keep their servers, worlds, and saved games all intact. Through the years, graphics have been improved, new mobs were added, and a lot of game glitches were removed. Despite the improved performance, some players long for the early days of Minecraft and wish to play it again. Well, there's nothing stopping you. As long as you have Minecraft installed on a PC, you have the ability to play any previous version of the game. If you like the particular features of a game, then you can go back into that version and play your heart out. A number of the game files will already be featured on your computer, but you can download earlier versions and add them to your game. From there, you can enjoy earlier versions of Minecraft and see how the game has changed over the years. This exploit has been shown by popular YouTube players like popular MMOs. Underwater breathing Underwater moments in games have always been tricky. Mario had some type of magic that allowed him to swim freely, Sonic had to gulp in giant bubbles to breathe water, Subnautica features oxygen tanks, and Minecraft is pretty similar with an oxygen bar that appears when a player is underwater. Exploring these underwater areas is great, but the time limit can be extremely frustrating. Luckily, there's a secret trick in Minecraft which makes the whole oxygen level pointless. Out of all possible items, if your character carries a bucket underwater, then they'll have the ability to breathe freely and not lose any of their oxygen level. The key to making this work is to make sure the bucket is completely empty. This allows you to find underwater caves, view underwater animals, and spend as much time in the deep blue as you can imagine. This trick is also great if you're playing a game of hide and seek with other players. Stay underwater as long as you need so you can avoid getting caught. The only negative aspect is you can't switch from the bucket to a weapon if enemies come after you. Once you do, the oxygen levels will start going down again. 
Speed hacking. The world of Minecraft works in real time to provide players with a living, breathing experience. Days transition into nights, random weather elements occur, and non-playable characters move and operate like citizens of your giant world. On PCs, one of the main ways Minecraft controls the time is using the computer's system time. Manipulating this time can make a huge difference in the way the game operates. This type of trick is known as speed hacking and has been done by players for years. At first, speed hacking had to be done manually by adjusting times and dates. Now players have the ability to install shortcut plugins which can help speed up or slow down time in the world. With just a few shortcuts, time can be sped up. This allows you to quickly move through worlds and explore vast areas. Feel like time is going too fast? Then you also have the option of slowing down time. It'll make your character and other mobs move very slowly through the game. Speed hacking can be a very useful tool to help you achieve goals, play at a faster pace, and access special things like bonuses on holidays like Halloween. The Hitbox Command Killing enemies and gathering items requires precise aiming and great timing in Minecraft. In some cases, enemies can move quickly or you may be using a far-range weapon that's harder to shoot. If this is the case, then you should consider using a special shortcut which can completely change the way you play the game. Known as the Hitbox Command, this special trick can be activated when playing the PC version of the game. After pressing F3 and the letter B, the Hitbox Command will be activated. Once it is, you'll notice clear boxes surrounding all the mobs and items. These boxes Boxes represent the hit area that can be accessed on a character. This means when you're attacking something, it has to be within the hitbox in order to deliver damage. This can make it a lot easier to shoot and hunt things when you're on the move. It can also help you focus on weak areas of an enemy and improve your aim. Along with the surrounding box, the command also showcases a thin blue line which represents exactly where the character is looking at any given moment. When you're on a server, the hitbox command can also be activated to help you hunt down players a lot easier and reveal anyone using camouflage skins. The Blink Hack with any online game, dealing with lag can be a huge problem. While it can be annoying in Minecraft, there are some instances where you can use lag to your benefit. One of these times is with the blink hack. Using this cheat method, you can actually make Minecraft think you're lagging. When this occurs, you can move around, go to a new position, and then reappear where you first started. It's an easy way to fool others into thinking you're lagging and then going in for a quick kill. The hack works by making the game think you're lagging when you can move around freely. Not only is this a great way to trick opponents, but it can also help you collect all kinds of items and evade large TNT explosions. It's best to use this hack on servers with other players. Using it alone is pretty pointless and won't allow you to really accomplish anything. The blink hack is often a part of a hack set that can allow players to go through walls, scurry faster through levels, and hide in locations where other players can't reach. The Defocus Mode Multitasking has become completely normal when using a computer. It's so easy to toggle through windows, access different programs, and browse the internet at the same time. One of the annoying things with Minecraft is when you go to another window, the game will automatically pause. This can be extremely annoying, especially if you're looking to watch tutorials, download skins, and access other Minecraft information. If this is a problem for you, then you should look into the defocus mode. By activating this shortcut, Minecraft will continue to be active unless you manually pause it. To activate this trick, you simply have to hold the F3 button and press down P. From there, Minecraft will remain open, allowing you to multitask and easily go back and forth between windows without constant pausing. This feature is very useful for mixing with other secrets like the Builder Bots. You can leave the game running while Builder Bots do your work and you can focus on all kinds of other tasks like homework, other games, or watching videos. You also have the option of shutting it back off by putting the same command in at a later point. The Far Lands When Minecraft was first introduced, it was plugged as an infinite land players could explore endlessly. As players got deep into the game, people started discovering the Far Lands. What originally started out as an urban legend was quickly proven to be real when videos started popping up and showcasing the Far Lands. These areas were created due to a glitch in the game. It created a crazy looking land that featured large cliffs, maze-like terrain, and weird formations. After multiple updates, the Far Lands were eventually removed so players could keep exploring without running into this bizarre world. Despite their efforts to cover up the crazy glitch, gamers can still access these areas. One way to do it is by simply playing older versions of the game and exploring as far as you can. Once you reach a certain point, the Far Lands will appear. A much easier method involves downloading custom maps featuring Far Land designs. This allows you to explore the Far Lands as they originally appeared in the game. The Far Lands offer a whole new way to play in Minecraft and are essential to their origin. The Far Lands did exist, it's just a matter of finding them using these various methods. Well, there you have it. What secret do you think is the craziest? Which ones have you discovered? Are there any secrets we missed? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube. That'll let you stay up to date with our awesome videos.